How to make watercolors. Most people use watercolors the wrong way. By dipping a brush in water, wetting the watercolor, and painting onto a surface. This is not the way it's supposed to be done. On the inside of a watercolor set lid, you'll notice there are trays. You're supposed to put water here and then add color to it. I have something even better. I have palettes that you can add water to first. Put the palette right next to a cup of water, use a big puffy watercolor brush, soak it, and shake water into the chambers. I usually fill up about five of them, but I can always fill up more later. The more water you put in, the lighter the color will be. The less water you put in, the darker the color will be. Now I am ready to add color to the water. What colors will you choose? It's really up to you. There's lots of color schemes. I usually pick analogous colors with watercolor. Those are colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. Why choose colors next to each other on the color wheel? When they mix together on the paper, they will make vibrant intermediate colors. So by using reds, violets, and blues, if any of them mix together, I will get some kind of violet color. The more times you transfer the color, the richer and fuller the color becomes. contrast you will need a darker color. Try adding black to some of your colors to make them a little bit darker. I'm happy with my colors but I don't have a red violet. You know what I could do? I could mix red and violet together and make my own red violet. Now that I've made watercolor I should be finished using the watercolor set, so I'm going to close it, take it out of the way. Now I'm ready to start painting.